This is a quick demo of how the data entry search pop-up works. We've got a few columns here and most of them have data validation drop-downs. So when I click on this cell for weekday, because things were selected already, those are checked in this list that appears. I can select more and click OK and it puts all those items into the cell. If a cell has nothing in it, the list appears, the same list, but nothing has been pre-selected. I select my items and click OK. In this column, only one item is allowed. That was set up in the customization for this pop-up. So I can select a different country here or leave it as is. These columns are multi-select and they also depend on which region has been selected. So here are activities that we have in Europe. We can add more. We can also add new items. I have this button enabled for this column. You can turn that on or off when you're setting things up. And if I click new, it opens a little list here that I could add a new activity for Europe. So I'll add skating. When I click OK, it takes me back to my list and there's skating. So I can add that as the activity. In this column, we have longer items. If I click here, it's only allowing one selection and I can see which one I've got, but it's chopped off. There's a box at the top that will show you those longer items. So if I click on anything here, I can read the full item at the top so I know what I'm getting. Sometimes in a list, things all start the same and you want to be able to know exactly which one you're selecting. And then click OK. Another feature in a list, if you've got a long list of items, is being able to search. So if I want to just see the kitchen items, I could start typing kitchen and it narrows the list down to those items. So in a really long list, this would be very helpful in finding what you need. Anytime you're making selections, once you've checked a couple, you can see those items on the list. In a long list, you don't want to have to scroll up and down and see where the check marks are. You can quickly come here and see what's already selected. So this tool is great for longer lists or lists with long items in them to help you make selections quickly and know exactly what you're selecting.